in your Revit project. Okay, let's assume that we have, we are going to create a parametric wall for this wall here. Yeah, let me select this and let me isolate it. Uh, we can uh, model our parametric wall very uh, better. Okay, I'm going to do it with first approach and then with second approach. Uh, you will get different results. But you, you need to decide which one of them are exactly the thing that you are going to achieve. Okay, let's go to the massing on site and from here click on in place mask. Okay, you can uh, put a name on it, maybe put a wall. And then from here, let me create a reference line. I'm going to set my work plan on level one. It's not very important. Uh, let me create a reference line on this uh, face. Okay, this is great for me. And let me set my work plan to the front side of this uh, work plane. And let me create a profile for uh, my parametric wall. To do that, you need to create a line, a model reference or reference line. It's not very important here but i'm going to do that with reference line i'm going to create a search line first but make sure that your drawing mode is on drawing on work plan okay this is good and uh, from here i'm going to change it to uh, a spill and draw point because it has more flexibility let me create a, another one let me what it let me see what is happening here. Okay. Let me create it again. Create my SP line again and from here. Make sure your drawing mode is on, drawing on, work plan. Okay. That's great. And this is good for me. And let me copy this in. Let me first create a face from it to check this is uh, working or not. Okay, this is working. Press Control Z twice, and then let me copy this to uh, align this path. Okay. Select all of them and from here, copy them. The number of copies is uh, optional, but the more you have, the smoother. Care we will get. Okay. This is good for me and let me create a dimension between them from the annotate tab. Don't have annotate here, but we can create a dimension on this uh, side. Let me create an align dimension here. Okay, this is good and let me put my scale and maybe 1 to 10 and let me call all of these uh, spaces also we can create a uh, create a parameter for this very easily uh, you just need to uh, select this and create a parameter for this but I'm not going to do that the another thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a wave in the front of this. To do that, you need to set your work plan to a, uh, to a uh, front, fa front face of this reference plane, and then we can create some SP line for showing the face. But make sure your drawing mode is drawing on work plan. Okay, this is kind of a reference for me. I'm going to use it for my point alignments. Okay, now we have these lines, we can 
change the position of these points to the to on the line it will get a nice wave for me a random wave according to the reference that we have created it's not very parametrical but you can use it to model complex shapes on a conceptual mass environment we can make it parametrical with dynamo where better if you need uh, that maybe we'd, we would cover that in um, next video so don't forget to subscribe us and like this video After finishing the process, you will get something like this, and then you can delete these two. And then one of the tedious, uh, tedious steps of this method is to is that you need to select them uh, one on one and create a form. And from here, select your select the surface. If I would put it on maybe shading shaded it will be it would be sure it very bad and then I'm, I'm going to create a surface for all of these profiles okay after you finish the uh, surface creation now you can uh, assign your wall by faces you just need to click on finish mass and from here let's go to the wall properties here and let me create a new wall here according to the generic ones let me duplicate one wall or wood board the thickness of maybe 10 centimeter and then click OK and from here let me put it on 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter and let me assign a material to it let me create a material here and let me assign a wood to it maybe this would, would be of would work for me and from here click on graphic tab and make sure you are Change on the user render appearance and then click OK, OK, and then the next process is to uh, make sure your drawing mode is uh, on peak face and then you can create your walls. Okay, you saw how it works. It is uh, nice for this process, but uh, if you want to have a smoother. Uh, Surface, you need to make sure that your uh, the numbers of profiles would be uh, more and also you can create more waves but for the sake of this uh, video I, I've made them a little bit uh, fewer because uh, because uh, for the time of the video the second approach is to create a surface first and next using adaptive frames to do that let me isolate this again and from here let me go to the massing on site tab and let me create a new mass maybe new mass or everything you want and then click on ok and from here let me set let me create a reference uh, line here on this face and then let me change my work plane to the front front reference front plane of this reference line. okay this is great and let me create a profile for this the profile is uh, optional and you can create it with your needs okay let me create a line here and let me create a sp line If you want to have some control on the wave or uh, something else, you need to make it with a spline tool points. Ok, 
can let me copy this a few times, maybe three or four, because when we want to save it, you don't need uh, many profiles. One, two, and maybe four would be enough for me. Let me change the position of this. Okay, this is great. And let me change some of them. Maybe here. Let me change this to yeah, and let me change this one a little bit and another one here. Okay, then select all of this profile and click on create form here. And now you have a form or solid form here that we can make it to a divide surface. To do that, select the face and from here, make sure you are clicking on your on the white surface and let me put the maybe uh, divisions are more numbers maybe 20 20 to 20 okay we are going to place the adaptive family on these points on these nodes but we don't see any nodes so you need to click on here and enable the nodes and then you will see these points here let me uh, count, uh, count them because we want to make sure that we are doing the exact number of this. The rule here, the rule of thumb here is that uh, always um, uh, plus your divisions, uh, always uh, make sure your division is plus one with your number of points in your adaptive family. Let's create the adaptive family here. Let's click on file menu and from here click on new and from here on family. And let me open a generic adaptive family environment and let me click on open and from here I'm, I'm going to create a family with 21 points. To do that, let me place my points. One, two. Okay, this is great, and let me select all of them in order. This is very important, and then click on Make Adaptive. Now you can see the orders here. This is 20, so I need to create another point here. And let me make it Adaptive 2, and now we have uh, 21 points. Okay, this is great, and let me select all of them again, and from here click on it's below through points. It is very important to, to use this method. And from here, let me set my work plan on the on this side of this path, and let me create my profile here. But make sure your drawing mode is on drawing on work plan. Let me create a profile here, and let me uh, create some parameters for it. Let me put my scale on maybe 1 to 10, and then let me create a parameter for this. Height. I want this parameter to be a type parameter. OK. And for this, let me create a parameter here. And again, I'm going to create a type parameter here too. OK, then select the profile and your pass and click on create form and that, then you, did, you will have this one. Also, let me change the numbers here to see that it is working or not. Let me put this uh, eight on maybe 400. And let me see the change. Now you can see our profile is parametric and then we can change the numbers in, uh, in our project to if it has a, a slope here, you need to create another profile at the end too. Let me make it. Let me create another profile at the end too. To do that, let me put this on. Set a work plan here and let me create a profile here. And let me assign the exact parameters that we have created for the First, uh, first profile at the start. 
Okay, this is great. Let me change this. I need to make sure that it's going to the right way. Let me select this. Let me move this to here. Okay, that's great for me. And let me select all of the elements here. And let me create a form for it. And now let me change the numbers and test it again. Maybe 400 this time. And now you can see we don't have any problem and we don't have any slope in this fan. Let me load this into the project and let me place this. It is very easy, you know, you just need to click on all of the points here in order. Also, we can assign some materials in the family too. Make sure you are clicking on the nodes because if you wouldn't do that, the next step wouldn't work, which is the step of repeating. Okay, here, 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 and here. Okay, this is good for me, but the uh, but the width is very, the height is very high. Let me change this to uh, maybe 16, a little bit higher, 18. Okay, this is good for me. And now select your adaptive family and from here click on repeat and then you can see the magic of reality. Not the magic, but it's really great. And let me click on finish and let me go to the massing inside and let me turn off this. If it didn't work, you can press VG and turn the mass category off. Okay, now you can see we have created uh, with this method too. And also, again, we can tr uh, change the numbers too. Let me change it to maybe 19. And you can see the difference here. You need to wait a little bit and then you will see the change. Also, you can assign a material here. For example, let me create a material parameter for it. Material. And let me load it again into my project. Okay, let me change the numbers again because I've loaded again an 80 and also for the material I need a wood. This one, click on OK and OK. Now you can see the uh, great wave that we've created. Also, because we have done it with surfaces, it is kind of parametric. You just need to select your surface and let me change the divisions. Let me go to the editing place first and let me select this surface, division surface. And now you can change the uh, V numbers here because if you would change that, our adaptive family won't work on it, but you can change the U grids here. For example, let me put it on 13. You will have a smoother uh, surface. Let me turn the mass category off again and from here also make sure it is off and now you can change the parameters, you can change the division and all.